A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome back. In this video we are going to be highlighting one of the features that is coming in on religion version 5.1 uh, but we are going to be checking it out of course how it is currently in 5.1 preview 1. So something to keep in mind of course is that these things are subject to change between the preview 1 and the 5.1 and that might be related to how the interface looks uh, to create this, to the performance, to maybe the feature itself might be somewhat different. Um, one of the drawbacks of Nanite was that it couldn't handle foliage because it couldn't deal with it when it comes to translucency. So for that purpose uh, that was one of the weaknesses that it had and that is one of the things that is being presented in version 5.1. So we will be taking a look at how we can uh, create some Nanite foliage in this video. Of course Nanite will continue to evolve and get more impressive and have more features as we go along but for now we will be focusing on the Nanite foliage. So uh, when we're in a project this is version 5.1 preview 1 obviously and this is in a third person template. Uh, inside of here we could go and go to our Nanite visualization and Nothing happens here because we need to go to our project settings, uh, platform windows. We need to change our default RHI to DirectX 12 and then we need to restart. So I'll see you in a moment. So now that we have restarted, um, let's start making some foliage. So if we go into foliage mode here, for example, I have some downloaded Mega scan assets here. I have a plant, a begonia, and we could just drop this asset in here and create a foliage asset. Sorry, and now we could start drawing. And these assets would not be nanite because they're obviously not set up for it yet. Uh, this might not be clear if we do this. We go over here and we just say change this to be a nanite mesh, like so. Now we get our visualization and you can see that we have our square here currently and actually all three of these became now nanite meshes but our uh, foliage is not. Going back to our foliage we can now, actually let's not even do that, let's go into our foliage itself over here and it was this static mesh and we'll just go to nanite and enable nanite. And you can now see that we are getting in our visualization that it has created nanite meshes for our foliage. So that's about it really. I have also taken a different mesh here. If we go to a, this is an asset pack that was available for free uh, during uh, one of the months. Uh, if we go in here to get some trees, for example, uh, how about some stone pines maybe and let's disable drawing of those and let's get one of these in here so of course this is not the nanite mesh to begin with but if we go in and change let's change all of these you can multi select enable for selected save and this one is still selected and we can draw here now you can see that in our visualization we are getting nanite meshes for all these trees and there's a bunch of them here so yeah this is of course awesome for everybody who wanted to have nanite available as a technology for meshes and you will be able to do so in 5.1 this will hopefully uh, allow performance to be uh, much improved especially for people that have projects with a lot of uh, foliage assets. Um, enabling Nanite is of course just as simple as, as it is for any normal static mesh. You just flag it for being Nanite enabled and you'll uh, rebuild it to be a Nanite mesh, uh, which is very convenient of course. Um, 
I hope that you all that this effects are really hyped about this because I am super stoked about all the future features that we will be getting as Nanite evolves during the years. Uh, anyway, that is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.